Well, someone was asking about finding uh, bids, finding the, ulti the optimal bid for your campaign. Okay. Um, there's a couple ways to kind of go about this. Um, I'll try to talk about uh, try to talk about a, a couple ways that I use, just depending on the client's strategy or what kind of data we have available. Um, so first off, to even think about trying to find the optimal bid, you need to make sure that you are tracking conversions. Okay, if you're not tracking conversions, um, optimal bid is pretty much meaningless. There's no way to find it. There's no way to know what to bid on your keywords. So if you do not have conversion tracking set up, that's where you need to start before you even think about what your optimal bid should be. You should be tracking phone calls, contact form submission, emails. If you have a chat box on your website, you should be tracking those. Um, basically anything, any action that you want someone to take, you need to be tracking it. Now once you're tracking those, you need to then figure out what your optimal cost per, per conversion should be, okay? So if you're trying to get leads for your business and let's say, um, let's say you're trying to get leads for $50, okay? The way you'd figure that out is you'd look at how many leads you're getting, how well you're converting those leads, and then what the average profit is from each of your customers. Okay, so based on all those numbers, you need to figure out how much, ideally, you would want to pay for one lead. Um, or at least how much you would want to pay for a conversion in AdWords. Obviously, not every conversion is going to actually become a lead. So that's another step you need to take, figure out you know, based on your lead cost, how much do you want to pay per tracked conversion in AdWords? So let's say that is uh, $50 that you're looking to pay per AdWords conversion. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll put a couple examples up here. The best way to do this, the most effective, is to look at your keywords. Um, if you don't have enough data for a particular keyword, you can look at your ad groups. Um, and do the same thing that way. And if you don't have enough data looking at ad groups, you can look at the whole campaign and uh, do it that way. Well, let's, let's pretend we have some keywords with some good conversion data, and we'll take a look at how we would find the optimal bid. So, um, first keyword. So let's say we're spending $1 per click. And from that, we're getting conversions at $50 per conversion. Okay, so basically uh, one in 50 customers is becoming a conversion, 2% conversion rate. <clears throat> this $1 per click for this keyword is giving us the exact cost per conversion that we want, okay? So therefore, that would be the, alt, the optimal cost per click. We don't want to change that bid. Um, let's say on another keyword, we're bidding the same amount, $1 per click, and we're getting conversions at $60. Okay, so in this case, we're paying more per conversion than we want to be. Uh, we would need to decrease this bid. Um, so I don't know exactly what the math is to get from $60 to $50. Um, but if I'm decreasing a bid like this, I don't like to do a whole lot at a time. Okay, unless this is a $100, $200 per conversion, then obviously we need to decrease it a lot. But if we're just overpaying for conversions a little bit, um, I'd want to decrease our bid here and try to get a, a cost per click closer to, say, 90 cents. 
Okay, run it at 90 cents for a while, see how the cost per conversion comes out. Um, let's look at another example. We're paying a dollar per click. Our cost per conversion is $20. Okay, and there's a couple of situations that, that could be going on here. So I'll illustrate both of them. So we have two cases here where we're spending a dollar per click and getting conversions at $20. Obviously very good, uh, a lot less than we are looking to pay per conversion. So let's add another metric in here, your average position. Okay, average position is how high up the page is your ad. Average position of 1.0 means your ad is at the top of the page every single time that keyword is triggered. Um, and then anything below that is obviously just an average of where it's falling. If it's average position of 1.5, that means you're spending half of your time in the first position and half of your time in the second position, most likely. Okay, so in this example here, our average position is 1.0. And in this example, our average position is 3.0. Okay, um, there is another metric you'd want to consider, which is your search impression share. Okay, the impression share tells you out of all the possible searches for that keyword, how many times is your ad being shown? Okay, usually if you're at a 1.0 average position, your impression share is going to be 100%. Okay, or very close to it. Um, if you're in a, a 3 average position, anything under 1, you're probably not going to be at 100%. Uh, so let's say for this one we're at 60%. Okay, so for this, this example right here, the one average position, 100% impression share, there's nothing we can do with the bid to get more traffic from that keyword. Okay, we're getting as much as possible, so there's no reason to change that bid. Um, obviously, you can adjust your ads, try to increase your click-through rate to get more traffic from a keyword like that. But from the perspective of changing the bid, there's nothing that we can do. Um, so this is already the optimal bid. Um, now this one, our average position is 3. Impression share is 60%. So we're not being shown all the time. Uh, when we are being shown, we're in the third position on average. And we're, this is converting very well very far below our goal of $50 per conversion. Um, so in this case, we can definitely adjust the bid. Um, and depending on how aggressive you want to be, you might try doubling it, tripling it, see what happens, because um, there's a lot of room here to play with. So uh, you might start with uh, doubling it up to $2 and seeing what that does to your average position and impression share, and then making sure your conversion, your cost per conversion is still where you want it to be. Um, so hopefully that helps explain how you would start to find the optimal bid based on uh, your conversions. Now the other thing that, that you probably want to consider, <clears throat> oh, let me erase this. The other thing you want to consider is um, your actual profit, okay? This is easier to do if you're selling a physical product that has a set price. Um, it's harder to do if you're a contractor or someone where every job has a different price and you're really just trying to get leads. Um, but basically what you'd need to do is look at... Uh, your actual profit. So if you have if you have a keyword that's in uh, position three, 
Okay, and let's see, how do I explain this? <clears throat> Let me just explain it as best I can without trying to draw anything. Okay, here's the deal. In general, the higher up your ad is, okay, the higher your click-through rate will be, because a lot of people tend to click on the first thing they see on Google. Um, because of that, your conversion rate tends to be lower, okay? If everything else is equal, an ad in position one is going to have a lower conversion rate than an ad in position three. Okay, so that means just trying to get your ad in position one all the time doesn't necessarily mean that that's the best place to be. Um, because for one, the cost per click is going to be higher, and for two, the conversion rate is going to be lower. Therefore, your cost per conversion or your cost per sale is going to be higher. Okay, in position three, you'll have a lower cost per click and a lower cost per conversion. So your cost per sale is going to be lower, um, but the trade-off is you'll get fewer sales. So sometimes you have to experiment and, and figure out exactly if your ad is in an average position of three, how many sales are you getting and what is the total profit of those sales compared to a position one ad Okay, how many sales are you getting there? You're going to get more sales in position one, but your profit per sale is going to be lower. Okay, if it's too much lower, it's not beneficial to even be in position one compared to position three. Um, so that's a test you just have to run sometimes and see, um, and it could take a little while, and see if it's going to be more beneficial to bid for the the more traffic you can get in position one or if you're fine in position three and if that's going to be the most most profitable.